All right, so I'm coming at you from the vlog, and my main question this weekend is going to be, is it worth it to bowl a PBA regional? I'm starting out negative $245, which is the entry fee to this tournament. I'm on my way, it's like a 300 mile drive, so I'm gonna need at least one tank of gas. I'll show you guys when I stop along the road. But for right now, is it worth it to bowl a PBA regional? So let's get this drive over with, we'll get to bowl in the practice session tomorrow, and I'll run you through all of the costs over the weekend, and some of the things I learned, and some of the things that might be worth that cost for me. We're here at Bucky's for my first pit stop of the trip. I got this sandwich right here, we're getting gas, and we're filling up now, we'll see how much it is but the sandwich cost me 913 and gas we'll see how much it is after I'm done filling up not too expensive so far $46 in plus the 245 we're about $300 into this trip just a little under so off to the Barnes house and then I'll see you guys tomorrow during the practice session all right so we're here for stop one of day two so I got some toothpaste a couple bottles of water some mouthwash and uh, it cost me 1030 so Keeping track, I don't know how much money I've spent so far, but Matt's probably on it. Now we're off to the bowling alley for the practice session. Hopefully it goes well, and uh, then we got a sweeper and the pro-am after that. So we got a full day of bowling today. during a practice session is I try and find an ideal line and then I might go to a couple of different pairs. Right now I'm seeing that urethane's pretty good. Probably in about 30 minutes or so I'll test out and see if the reactive balls are good. Uh, but for right now I'm just gonna move to a couple different pairs and make sure that my urethane balls are still good and maybe offer you guys some opinions of some of the other pros here and see uh, if they think regionals are worth it like Stu Williams, AJ Chapman, and uh, the Lavery brothers. Hey! The, no, the other one. Yeah, that's you? That's a sick looking spare ball. I, uh, I'll pop up because it's a lot tighter down here than on that end. Oh, it's flying up there? Flying all Damn, alright. Take my ass to the low end. I'm not in love with what my ball's doing. They are looking really early. I just watch it like Argh! All right, so practice on the high end and then now the low end. The low end seems like it hooks just a little bit earlier. Uh, so instead I'm throwing a little bit weaker of a purple hammer and then I'm also switching to a black hammer down here. Uh, but overall the practice has been pretty good. I'm gonna wrap it up with some spares and then we got the, uh, the sweeper at four, so. What, what? So I haven't bought on the high end yet. You're saying it's slipping? I think so. However, however, they told me, the other people told me that the low end hooked more. Yeah. I think if anything, it just hooks earlier and kills my ball a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think the high end's a little slicker. I'm gonna go over there in a little bit. Good luck. My question of the weekend is, is it worth it to bowl PBA regions? Yeah. And why do you think so? Uh, they're really good tools to stay sharp. Uh, prize funds are really, really good. Pay one in three. You know, the entry is a little expensive for the average person, but for us that bowl for a living, uh, they always pay great for what you pay to get in. Keeps you sharp. You're always bowling on patterns. Uh, here in the Southwest, we have super tough competition, so it's really, really good reps to uh, to get out here in the bowl almost every weekend that we're home. Sean? 100%. Uh, a lot of tournaments, you don't know how many entries you're going to have. You don't know what top prize is going to be. Uh, when you bowl a regional, you know it's probably going to be 2500 for first. You know it's going to pay one in three. There's no walking in and 20 people back out. Like They're very straightforward on what they are. It's also you're getting great practice. You're, you know, If you're trying to learn to bowl on the PBA or trying to learn you know, lane currency and all that stuff, you get some, some competition in a, a competitive atmosphere without you know bowling against all the big guys that are going to yell at you for not knowing lane courtesy. <laughs> name them now. I can't name them. Uh, but yeah, and they're they're awesome and you know the bowling centers that that pay to have us here, you know we want to support them and all that stuff. So, I definitely think they're worth it. The question is, do you think PBA regionals are worth bowling? Yeah, it's a great place to learn how to throw urethane balls. Here we are, baby. <laughs> Feels like a urethane weekend, guys. Is it worth it? Yeah. I'm here. 
So obviously I think it's worth it. Still being able to bowl in the pattern, staying active. <laughs> Whether it's sharp as me up. Just to bowl something. Just to bowl. I mean, it's what I do for a living, so if it's something to bowl, then I'll bowl. I think there's still more prestige in winning a PBA regional and winning a local tournament. So yes, that's why I do it. And as a PBA member, I'm trying to support the association. So that's one of my main goals for doing it. Um, I wouldn't ever fly to a regional, I don't think. Yeah. But like when I can drive, then yeah, I'll drive. I don't think it helps you that much for bowling on tour because I think that the thing that's difficult about bowling on tour is the transition and how quickly it happens. And it just doesn't happen that quickly out here. So you see a lot of guys, especially on the weeks when we can throw urethane, they can stay in the urethane for way longer than they'd be able to stay in it on the national tour. Anthony said that the PBA regional tour, he bowls because it's a great way to learn how to throw your thing every week. He's probably not wrong. It's certainly a key to success. I just think that everybody's trained to throw your thing now, like whatever the scenario. So, and it's like self-fulfilling because if everybody, th if a bunch of people throw it, then the people following them have to throw it. So then it just, it just goes round and round in circles. So yeah. I think a lot of time you see guys throw it when like, it just doesn't feel like you need to, but they don't get punished for it because it hurts the guys throwing reactive. So then... It's almost it, like playing defense. Yeah, almost. And then the lane comes to the urethane ball, whereas really the lane should come to the reactive balls. But it doesn't really. So, I don't know. Ban them all. <laughs> all right, so a part of this weekend's expense for me, I've decided to bowl after the practice session. I've decided to bowl the $40 optional sweeper uh, to try and just make a little bit more money on this weekend. Started off game one with a 234. All right, we're starting up day three. I got a couple expenses to report to you. Last night on my way back from the Pro-Am, I got Whataburger. Spicy chicken sandwich which was $9.52 with the fries and a drink. Uh, this is not a promotion, but it might as well be because it was delicious. We actually got paid to bowl the Pro-Am, which was $50 for the pros, so a little offsetting cost once again. I also don't know if I reported the sweeper earnings, which was $165 on a $40 entry, which brings our total to, I don't know the number, but it's right here. Eight games today on the chameleon pattern, and hopefully it goes in my favor and we can recoup some more of our losses and get ourselves in the bonus and in the plus today. So I went, ended up going 266 over, which puts me uh, leading going into tomorrow. As for the expenses, I paid $50 for the high game pot. I won two high games and then the totals for 80 a piece. Uh, so once again, the total is up here and we got some bonus bowl tomorrow. So we're definitely gonna cash and we're definitely gonna end up in the green for this event. Uh, it's all about just seeing how high I can finish and how well I can bowl tomorrow. So hopefully uh, a lot more bowling tomorrow, five in the morning and then eight of match play if I get there. So. Uh, the goal is to keep throwing good shots, keep having fun, and uh, you know, as I say, it's a great day to have a great day. So, all right, so I made a stop at Dunkin' Donuts instead of Starbucks. It cost me eleven eighty for a sandwich and a matcha latte. So, um, off to a hot start this morning. Going to eat some breakfast and get a little bit of energy in me before the five games, and then hopefully eight of match play. So, that's the goal.
Quality? Good enough. Quality. Uh, we got eight games, round robin match play. Um, 30 bonus pins if you win against the opponent on your pair. But right now, the only competitor is the lane pattern. So mm. we gotta figure this out. Yep. Lock and load, you know what I'm saying? Lock okay. and load. Purple tape, buddy. And the rack on lane nine. And that rack on lane nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to stay and uh, watch the entire step ladder. Um, but, you know, I got the show up to wax a hachi and support my boy Packy. Hey, Matt, if you're watching this right now, you know, I hope all is well. Good luck to you, Pack. I'm about to get out of here. If y'all like motorcycles, follow me on TikTok, Greg underscore F1. I'll see ya. From Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Packy Hanrahan. I did end up winning the regional. It was a total pinfall. I won by about 100 over Dio Bernard and cashed a check in for $2,800, which is obviously a big bonus to the trip. All right, so we grabbed a beast burrito for eight bucks or nine bucks, I guess, and then a Arizona green tea for breakfast. Uh, I feel like the green tea might give me a little energy for this ride, uh, which cost me 1037, which is the second to last expense for the trip. And I'll share with you guys just right now, closing up this video on how much I think regionals are worth it to bowl. I think not only is it a great learning experience, but it is also a, a way where you can test your abilities amongst some of the best bowlers in your area, whether it's the Southwest like ours, where you got some really good competitors like the Lavery brothers, AJ Chapman, Stu Williams, and Sean Maldonado that were there, or uh, you know the Central Region or any region that you'd be bowling regionals in. It really brings out the best competition from your area. So that's why I do it. I do it to stay sharp and kind of compete against some of the best in my area, measure up, see how I'm doing, see how some of those changes in my physical game or in my mental game are working in a tournament setting. Uh, and for a lot of other guys, um, cashing is twice your money. It makes it worth it. It pays for your trip at least, usually for me at least. Uh, so that's how I do it. That's why I bowl regions. That's why I think it's so important for any tournament bowler looking to get better. That's why I think it's important to bowl some PBA regional. Overall, a really good trip, obviously, and obviously financially very beneficial for me, but obviously it's hard to judge when you win one. So that's why I bowl regionals, and that's why you should too. Closed out this trip. Thanks for watching. And as always, it's a great day to have a great day. I'll catch you guys on the next one.